Yeah, I was just going to see you, Jim, if you could tell us a little bit about yourself, like where you're from and where you played last year and things like that. Yeah. Uh, last year I played uh, for the Georgetown Raiders. Mm -hmm. I'm from Maple, Ontario. Okay. I was curious, did you have any connections to Clarkson before you got here? Like, did you know anybody that played here in the past or anything like uh, that? No, I, two guys on my team last year, uh, Josh Dickinson and Jack Chacon, were committed here. Oh, yeah. But uh, other than that, no, I didn't know anyone. Did you, like, which one of you guys was the first to kind of sign here? Like, did you all kind of make a decision together? Uh, Josh Dickinson, actually. Yeah, I got oh, okay. traded to the Raiders halfway through the season last year. Oh, yeah. So it was a good uh, to come in with the freshmen that I knew. Has it helped to have people you know when you go to like a new team and have a few familiar faces? Oh yeah, for year? sure. It makes it a lot easier. Uh, yeah. It makes the transition a little quicker, a little easier. You know, yeah. some familiar faces and. Uh, I was curious, what have you noticed? It's different about this level of hockey from just the early practices you guys have had. You know. Well, the speed. Uh, everyone uh, mm -hmm. makes that first pass quick. Uh, east to west, north to south. It's all just a faster game. And as a goalie, what kind of adjustments do you have to make to that compared to like other players who cheat? Yeah read the play a little bit more, uh, yeah. have the quicker feet. I was wondering too, like, did you, growing up, did you have any favorite goalies or people you liked or wanted to try to be like or anything like that? Uh, my favorite goalie right now is actually Carey Price. Oh, yeah. How calm he is in the net, mm -hmm. and how quick he moves around the crease. Oh, yeah. I guess the last thing I was asking, was it about the position that you like when you started playing hockey? What made you want to become a goalie? Uh, like the pressure, like you make yeah. or break the game kind of. Like it, oh, yeah. It's a lot of pressure on you and uh, yeah. Are you pretty good at being able to kind of put it behind you too and see if something bad happens? Like you know, yeah, it's part of the game, part of the position. Yeah, you yeah. got to be able to do it. Oh, yeah. All right, well, thank you. I guess to start with St. Kennedy, if that's any other guys, uh, you know, can you tell people where you're from and where you played last year, stuff like that? I'm from uh, Baxter, New Jersey, and mm -hmm. I played for the Sioux City Musketeers at USHL last year. Right. How did that help you prepare for college to play in a league like that? Yeah. Uh, I thought it helped me tremendously. We made a really deep run with Sioux City, and like those games are probably the closest thing. You're such a playoff games are to college hockey, so oh, yeah. we got to play a lot of those, and it was a fun experience for me. So. I was wondering too, like you've had some practice, you haven't played a game yet, but what have you noticed is like the biggest difference at this level compared to where you were last year? It's like every jump, guys are just bigger, faster, stronger. Puck moves a little bit quicker. You lose that little half second before to make a play. So that's just in practice games. I'm sure it's going to be similar to that, maybe even more so. I was wondering too, like, did you ever have any connection to the school before you decided to come here? Like, did you ever know anybody that played at Clarkson or anything like that? Or no, I had no former connection to Clarkson mm -hmm. before coming here. What was it about this place you liked? Like, when you were picking school, what did you decide to come um, here? I should like I met a couple of guys when we visit and had a good time here. And I know it's a great academic school, and I feel like it's trending upward in the ECAC. So I feel like for four years I'll be mm -hmm. real good contenders here. I was going to say, did you kind of describe, like, what kind of forward are you? Like, how would you describe your style of play or, you know, if you were scouting yourself? Yeah. Big, big power forward. So yeah. it's always been my game, always will be, probably. So. Right. Start I was going to ask if you could tell people kind of where you're from and where you played a year ago and stuff, just get your general background for hockey. Uh, I'm from Calden, Ontario. It's about uh, 40 minutes north of Toronto. Mm -hmm. um, played for the Georgetown Raiders in uh, the OJHL for the last two seasons. How's it up? I saw you have a few teammates that are here too. How does that help when you have like familiar faces when you're in a new place? Uh, yeah, it was. Uh, it's definitely uh, definitely pretty cool that uh, I get to play with two previous teammates. Um, mm -hmm. It was really easy at first, especially uh, um, getting to, to see them with two of my close friends. And um, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's, I'm really looking forward to the next four years with them as well. And other than those two guys, did you ever know anybody? Like, do you have any connection to Clarkson from the past? All you ever know anybody that played here or anything like uh, that? No, actually, yeah. not, not really. Yeah, I was curious too, just about what was it about this particular school that you liked when you were picking the college um, to choose here? Uh, one of the most important things was I felt uh, the coaching staff it was a good fit uh, for me. Mm -hmm. um, I kind of like that the whole small town feel. Um, from uh, you know, it's it's not that far from my house either. It's yeah. about four and a half hours, which is it's easy for my family to come come watch and um, obviously to get good uh, good education as well. And I was wondering if you can describe for people kind of your style of play. Like, what would you, how do you if you were scouting yourself? What would you kind yeah. of say about how you like to play? Um, y you know, I'm I'm a smaller guy. I um, like to, to pride myself in you know, my compete level, and um, I'm not going to back down from uh, a bigger player. Uh, yeah, definitely pride myself in. Um, Trying to have a fearless attitude. Um, mm -hmm. I also think that uh, I can uh, help uh, contribute to, to the team uh, on the scoreboard and um, be uh, an offensive player. Is there a, has there ever been any problems in the past where people might see your size and think, well, you're not going to be able to do this or that? Or is that something you've ever had to overcome, so to speak? Yeah, uh, I've. That's it. Doesn't. It's not uh, very hard for me to find motivation. Um, yeah. I was never drafted to the OHL. Uh, I missed out on um, a couple of things last season that um, really pushed me to 
have a good finish, and I, I really did think that yeah. um, in the long run helped uh, my season. And um, it, uh, yeah, once again, I I don't have to look hard <laughs> to find motivation being a small guy. Is that, I'll see it last thing I was going to say. Was there any players your size like at the NHL you've kind of always admired? Yeah, of that, or, you know? um, I grew up. Martin St. Louis was my favorite player. Yeah. Wore number twenty six for um, for a good portion of my career so far, all through minor hockey and um, uh, lately. Um, players like uh, Brennan Gallagher, uh, Brad Marchand, uh, Mitch Marner, and oh, yeah. um, it uh, it makes me feel good as a smaller guy seeing how the direction the game is going um, oh, yeah. as far as skill and um, hockey sense. It um, it uh, makes me feel good. Yeah. Well, that's good. Yeah.